We were the number, number one online destination in the world, bigger than anything out there in 1999. Remember Lycos? It was the Google of 1999 before it was sold to Terra Networks in 2000 for $5.5 billion. And after years of losing market share to Yahoo and Google, Lycos was sold once again in 2004 to Duong Communications for just $95 million. The former CEO who left in 2001 says the boom and bust was no surprise. Do you consider Lycos a failure? And at some point, did you regret giving up Lycos, even selling it, even though I'm sure you made a profit, because you could have turned Lycos into Google or something beyond Google? Well, it was bigger than Google then, but do I consider it a failure? For sure, because where Lycos is today is it's not a uh, the popular destination it was at the time. For the period of time that we were involved with the company, it was a wild success. Uh, and not to suggest that it failed or didn't fail, because of our activity, but all I can say is when we were there, it, it did very, very well. From a legacy standpoint, it, it would be disappointing. I would, despite the fact that I left, it would be wonderful to say Lycos was still the number one online destination in the world, so I'd be, dis I'd be, I'd be fibbing to say anything but that, so that piece is disappointing. I mean, what, what, what uh, lessons do people need to learn is I think that they need to really look at it and think about how they're going to maintain that entrepreneurial culture that let some of these companies grow the way they have once they consume them. And it, it, failing to keep some of that entrepreneurial culture is a dangerous thing because you lose the energy, the drive, the spirit, the growth initiatives that have been so powerful for a lot of our young companies.